Good morning. It is Friday, November 12th, 2021. Um, just kind of giving you a recap of my Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Love this book so far. I'm on page 96. Um, I've actually gotten several people addicted to it as well, um, and I haven't even finished it, but I also decided today that I am committed to rereading it once I am done. Um, just want to give you kind of a recap on everything that I read today and everything that I did this morning. I got up at 440, started, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face, um, drink a cup of water and drinking some active stuff right now. Um, and then just kind of getting started. Oh, actually I did 10 minutes of affirmations and then silence. Um, and I think the biggest thing when it comes to affirmations, just like what I was reading today, is your vis visualization. You know, you need to be able to visualize, not just say and talk about what you want, but actually physically and mentally visualize what that looks like, what that feels like. And honestly, I don't even know what my dream goal is either. Um, so, and keep in mind, I'm also kind of trying to talk quiet because everybody's still sleeping upstairs. My husband's actually downstairs working out. But um, one thing that I did do today is that, you know, it said something about writing your own book. I've never thought about it. I had somebody about a couple months ago had mentioned, you know, like that I needed to start writing my own book. Very inspirational. I always thought of myself as, you know, not very good with words, not very good with grammar and spelling and all of that. So writing a book was nowhere in my um, capacity to be able to do in my mind. But again, what I'm kind of starting to learn, lear to learn is that everything that we tell ourselves is what we are really fully capable of doing. So if I'm telling myself that I can't write a book, then I'm not going to be able to. And I always preach that to my kids too. But um, so I actually sent an email to helpmewithmybook.com at miraclemorning.com. I'm sorry help me with my book at miraclemorning.com. And that was part something that um, Hal had suggested. If you're listening, I'm, I'm listening to it while reading the book because I'm a visual and audio learner. So if I can do them both, I can retain more information rather than just listening or just reading. Um, another big thing when it comes to this book is really sitting down and taking notes, whether you're highlighting, writing it down. I like to take pictures, highlight certain areas, and I actually post it to either my social media or Snapchat. And since I started doing that, I bet I've had at least five people ask me what book I'm reading because they love the affirmations. They love the areas that I've highlighted. Um, it all starts with your mindset. So, but anyway, so I, I read, wrote something to how or whoever it is. Um, it's pretty long, so I'm really not going to go over it. But I really think that it resonates with what I would like to do because I get a lot of people who come to me, especially recently and here lately, on real estate investing. I started about five years ago. I'm nowhere near where I know I can go and what I'm capable of doing. But I've had a lot of people who are in the starting process or have thought about doing it but my biggest challenge is taking them from that thought to action so many people want to do these things but nobody actually takes action so i thought to myself well let's talk about this book thing i've always i've here recently thought about doing it but i've never actually taken action to do it so my action is to send this letter to um, hal or whoever that is um, and i will kind of give you guys an update if i hear a response um, but my, my biggest struggle is convincing and getting people to go from an idea to the actual action. It's, it's a very scary, especially that first time, um, to take that leap. And one thing that I've also learned over time, especially, you know, Grant Cardone, I think said this too, is that if you're not moving forward, you're basically moving backwards and standing still is the same as moving backwards. Cause you kind of have, you have to grow. That's just like your money. If your money is not making you money, you're going backwards because the value of the dollar goes down every year because of appreciation and inflation. Um, but one thing that I've said since day one of getting into real estate is get very comfortable being uncomfortable. Like this is not a very comfortable thing for me sometimes. Oh, and going back, um, I wanted to do a live, but apparently I don't know much about this whole streaming stuff, but if you want to go live, you have to have 50 uh, subscribers. I don't have that. So be sure to su subscribe so I can go live in the future with my morning affirmations and my miracle morning. 
Um, but anyway, so yeah, just take going from, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. This is what I'm talking about. It's like ADHD all over the place. Um, but if you're, if you're not growing, you're going backwards. And like I said, same with your money, but you have to get very comfortable being uncomfortable. And I've noticed throughout the years that if I'm in a, in a comfortable place in my life, then I'm not pushing myself enough. So I need to take another leap of faith. It's like, and get me outside that comfort zone to be able to grow. I just purchased my first multifamily, uh, last month. Uh, it was a very, I thought to myself, oh shit once they accepted my offer because I thought what am I going to do how am I going to come up with this money but if there's a will there's a way I figured it out transaction went very smooth within the first two days a refrigerator went out in one of the apartments and then another person just decided that they didn't want to live there anymore and left left all their stuff so welcome to uh family or investing but fortunately I have a great team of people and um I hire a property manager to handle all that because I don't want to deal with it. I, I want to grow my investments, but I don't want to have to be wrapped up in them. So, um, but I'll give you guys an update if I, if, and when I hear back from somebody with this email. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe so I can get at least 50 subscribers to be able to go live on YouTube. Thanks.